Today's episode is all about photorealistic embroidery and portraits. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you have any questions at all throughout the video, to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed yet, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. You will not regret it. All right, so this portrait embroidery is very popular. If you guys are on Facebook groups, you've probably seen a lot of people posting them. Um, usually it's either a celebrity or someone's pet um, and you just get it digitized uh, straight from the photo. So today I'm going to actually embroider a photo that I had digitized. All right, so before we get started, let's quickly go over what materials you're gonna need in order to make this portrait embroidery happen. First off, let's talk about stabilizer. Now, portrait embroidery is usually a very high stitch count uh, because you have a lot of details in it. The one I'm going to be embroidering today is 104,000 stitches. Um, what that means is that I'm gonna need a lot of stabilization. Therefore, I'm gonna be using two sheets of stabilizer on top, uh, I'm sorry, below my fabric. And of course, we're gonna use cutaway because we're gonna need a lot of support and also because we're not going to be um, tearing away any of the stabilizer. Once we're done, we're just gonna cut it with the fabric and uh, place it in a frame. Uh, which leads me to my next material, which is a frame. You can pick any frame that you want that fits your embroidery size. Um, next off, we have our hoop. I'm using my 12 by eight hoop for the EM1010. Next off, let's talk about fabric. Now you can really use whatever fabric you want, but I find it's best to use a um, twill fabric. This is a pretty uh, general purpose use fabric that you can really use anything, do anything with. And next, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a lot of shades of the same color because there is gonna be a lot of shading involved in order to make the portrait really come to life. So let's quickly talk about needles before we take it over to the machine. Um, because you're going to be embroidering a lot of details with your portrait embroidery, depending on how small your details are, you might need to go down a needle size to either a 7010 or a 659. Now, if you're especially using a 659 needle, you're going to need to make sure that your thread weight is a size 60. This is the specialty thread that is uh, designed for um, details. One more thing you need to be aware of, because this design is such a high stitch count, you might get a little bit of puckering, so that's why using two sheets of stabilizer is very important. Um, if you do get some puckering, you can use some heat to help um, iron out those wrinkles. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hoop it and then bring it over to the machine, and we'll talk a little bit more about uh, some best practices to get this done quickly. All right, so I already have my design loaded on the screen and I've already picked all of the colors that I will be using. Um, now I do wanna remind you guys that these portrait embroidery designs have a lot of color stops. So you're gonna wanna make sure that all the colors that you're using um, are placed close together so that your machine head isn't moving from needle number one to needle number 10 every time it needs to make uh, another stop for just a simple detail. One more thing I wanna mention is that this design is 104,000 stitches, which means you're gonna need some um, additional bobbin on hand so that you can quickly switch it out. Bobbin usually lasts a little under 40,000 stitches, so you're gonna to want to make sure you have some ready so you can quickly switch it out and press start. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and press start and see how this comes out. One more thing I wanna mention is that you're gonna to wanna to slow down the speed a little bit of your machine because you are embroidering details, so you don't wanna go at full speed just to make sure that you get the finest quality embroidery. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this at about 650 to 750, depending on which part of my design is more detailed. And the less detailed part, I can go 750, even 800. And the more detailed parts, you're gonna want 600.
All right, so our design is finally ready, and now I'm ready to take it out and cut it up and put it into the frame. So I'll show you guys what it looks like once I have framed it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and frame it, and then we're going to show off the finished product. All right, so here is the finished product. What do you guys think? All right, so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wanna thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And I also wanna take the time to invite you guys to our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. In there, you can chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers. You can ask us any questions that you have, or you can share any tips so go ahead and uh, join the group. I have linked it below. And last thing before we go, I wanna encourage you guys to uh, sign up for our newsletter because you will get content delivered directly to your inbox and that way you will not miss a thing. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you back here next time. Bye.